Yikes. I was searching for something online and came across this Chinese made receptacle. And what it actually is, is the combination of a bunch of 120, 240 volt North American 15 amp, 20 amp receptacles. And it might seem like a good idea, but I really would recommend against using anything like this. And to see why, what we've got to do is look at a bunch of standard receptacles and see how this compares. To put things in perspective, this is the standard North American 120 volt 15 amp receptacle that you find in, well, every house. And in fact, you might be surprised to know that we do have other receptacles. And perhaps the next most common one is this one, which is the 20 amp version of the same thing. And they used to be quite uncommon, but now they're getting more common because people are using them in kitchens so that you can have a single GFCI providing 20 amps for all your high powered appliances. And the neat thing about the 20 amp receptacle is it's made to take the regular standard 15 amp power plug and have it fit in it quite normally. Whether that's a good idea or not is perhaps debatable. There's also this funny plug which is of course designed for it and the idea is that because of this sideways pin over here well you can't fit it in a normal 15 amp receptacle if you've got some high powered device. Having said all of that most people have never seen this one which is the 240 volt equivalent of the standard receptacle and the only difference is is the prongs on the plug are in line like that as opposed to being vertically oriented as in the standard plug and again the idea is you can't take a 240 volt plug which fits nicely in this receptacle and accidentally put it into a 120 volt receptacle and vice versa the good old standard plug will not fit and vice versa the good old standard plug will not fit in the 240 volt receptacle to protect a 120 volt device. And there's actually one more and that is this one and it is the 20 amp version of the same thing and you can see it's very similar to the 20 amp 120 volt receptacle except again one of the slots is sideways. Now I should point out that these two duplex receptacles are actually somewhat rare and that's because they are most often replaced by one of these receptacles, a single outlet receptacle because typically if you're installing a 240 volt line somewhere in a North American building. It's for one high powered device. Same applies to the 20 amp version and in fact that's what I have set up for my compressor as you can see here. Anyway, now that's all very nice but where does the funny Chinese receptacle come in? Well you can see that, well I guess it is best to compare from left to right. It'll certainly take anything that fits into this one or this one or this one or this one. And I have a bit of sympathy because in a lot of third world countries you end up with appliances from all sorts of other places with different plugs and it's quite common to have receptacles that many plugs will fit into. But in a North American situation it is a really terrible idea because you could take your 120 volt vacuum cleaner and your 120 volt light bulb and if this was set up for 240 volts plug it in here and blow one of those things up. Generally not a good idea. Similarly if you happen to have this set up at 100 and 15 volts or 120 volts 
and you took your 240 volt appliance and plugged it in, well, bad things could happen too. Now, light bulbs will just dim, but motors can actually burn out because they'll draw more current trying to desperately get enough power to come up to speed when they've only got 120 volts available to them. So that's essentially the situation. Why would someone be selling a receptacle like this? Well, it was on a storefront, an online storefront, selling stuff for hydroponic farming. And I'm guessing what it was was people were buying large banks of 240 volt light bulbs and seeing they have, well, funny plugs on them that they didn't recognize. And the store owner discovered this receptacle in China and said, you know what, that receptacle will do everything you need just by one and you're done. And, you know, it sounds like a good idea, but again, the real danger is whether you wire this up as 240 or 120, there's always the danger. It's just way too easy to plug the wrong voltage appliance into it. And if you do happen to need a receptacle that you could plug either in and get the right voltage, well, luckily, there is one that does it, and that is this one, which is an official receptacle. It's made by Leviton. It's part number 5031, in this case W because it's white, and it has a proper 120 volt receptacle up here and a proper 240 volt one down here. And if you do have a three wire service going to your outlet, two lives and a neutral, you can hook it up to this receptacle quite nicely and get, well, again, 120 volts and 240 volts. Now, in most cases, you might really want more plugs. And the thing there is to, well, just use two receptacles like this next to each other to get perhaps four receptacles, half at 120 and half at 240. Now, the question might be, is there actually any use where a receptacle like this might be justified? And there is. And that use is perhaps in a test jig like this one that I talked about online a while ago. And what this test jig is, is a current limited outlet for testing and troubleshooting faulty equipment. And the way it does the current limiting is it uses a regular old incandescent light bulb to be the current limiter, and also using the brightness of the bulb an indication of how much current is flowing. And well, it might be kind of useful to have a receptacle like that so that you could even plug in a 240 volt item into your current limited output. And even if it's only 120 volts, um, use that for troubleshooting with a slightly lower voltage situation. So that's one possible, and in fact, that's the only use that I might ever consider for something like this. Um, again, in some sort of a test jig that needs to accept all sorts of different plugs, but never as an outlet to run devices that should either be run at 120 or 240 volts, but not at both. So having said all of that, it is kind of interesting. Um, we can look at the back of the receptacle and what it does say up here is not for current rupturing. And I'm guessing what they're trying to say is, well, maybe you shouldn't take two wires and put them next to each other in under one of the screws and use that to split the current off to another outlet. That might be what rupturing means. I'm guessing it's a direct translation from something that makes more sense in Chinese. It also points out down here that this is for copper and not aluminum wires. I give them credit for pointing that out. However, it's also worth noting that there is no sign of any 
certification or testing agency on this so that's probably another reason not to use it having said that it is rather nicely made at least from the outside possible criticisms well one of them is if you look at a standard north american plug you'll see that this slot over here should be a bit wider so that it can accept polarized ungrounded plugs and you can't fit one of those in this so that's that's a problem with it um, the coloring of the screws is questionable and that's because brass in north america means live silver means neutral but if you were using this as a 240 volt outlet well silver would now be attached to live and that's really a, a bad idea again one thing that is nice is they have set it up so you can put the wires in these slots and screw them tight with the screws without having to twist the wire around the screw so that is that is a good thing and again it's not badly made but as a general rule i would strongly recommend against ever using this plug for any normal type situation particularly given that you have so many opportunities of using a proper and certified by a testing agency standard plug that will really have any application covered so there you go that's the story of this funny Chinese plug um, I couldn't resist buying it just because of the oddity but please don't buy it and please don't use it for your own safety and the safety of the devices you might plug into it that's this video see you next time